Paying attention to the posture, head, neck and back, if possible, are in a single line. Hands on the lap, fingers clasped eyes softly closed like even the Buddha sculptures and photos of the Buddha in meditation there are no wrinkles in the eyelids it's an effortless soft closing following the steps of just connecting to the breath Inhalations, exhalations, effortless, yet mindful. I am much more than the breath I take than my inhalations and exhalations breathing comes breathing goes I am the unchanging witness of the breath the next step in the meditation as outlined in the Bhagavad Gita the fifth and the sixth chapters is to offload things that do not belong over the course of life the Jagat creeps in gets under the skin is internalized therefore Lord Krishna's advice here is extremely pertinent Sparshan Bahyan Bahihi Karanam The externalization of the Jagat keeping in other words the outside world outside At first it seems to be a strange injunction the outside world is so called because it is outside 
how can I keep what is already external external to illustrate this we help ourselves with some visualizations everyday visualizations I visualize a range of mountains there is no charge here in, re in other words in relation to these mountains I can be objective appreciative non-demanding I don't wish for the mountains to be taller or shorter I'm simply happy relating to them exactly how they are Next, I visualize a river. This is how the river is. It's very e clear. Again, I don't wish for the river to be bigger or smaller, to flow faster or slower than what it is. in relation to the river I am an objective appreciative contented non-demanding person can I retain this objectivity that I find in relation to things in the natural world when confronted with people perhaps people in general one can be objective as long as one doesn't have gender bias racial bias etc what about people close to me I visualize the mother here there is a immediately a difference one can sense between the river and the mother that is because the mother is both internal and external this is what Bhagavan Krishna means to externalize the internal mother before commencing on a program of meditation retaining the love and the care for the mother I take the time to do two things first to acknowledge this is how the mother was mother is in my perception
Next, I take the time to grant the mother the freedom to be who she was, who she is. This is how mother was, mother is. I take the time to give her the freedom to be exactly who she was, who she is. The extent I'm able to do that, the extent I'm free of the hold of the internal mother in the form of unmet expectations, guilts, hurts, same thing I do with the father. This is how father was, father is. The words in my perception are important because my perception can be right or wrong. I acknowledge that there can be an element of subjectivity. This is how father was, father is in my perception. Now taking the time to grant the father to be however he was, however he is, I grow to be an objective meditator. This is how parents were, parents are. And if there is still some pain, residual pain, connected to unmet expectations, I offer it as a prayer. Hey Bhagavan, give me the courage to change the things that I can. Give me the grace to accept the things that I cannot change. Finally, O oh Lord, give me the wisdom to know the difference between the things that can be changed and that which cannot be changed. What about this body? Is it internal? Is it external? We do the same thing. This is how the body is in my perception. I grant the body the freedom to be who or rather whatever it is. 
so many things about the body that cannot be changed general height weight predilection to certain diseases color of skin etc this is how body is when i give freedom to the body to be what it is i gain in the space in the maturity to know that i am separate from this body vilakshana my awareness now moves to watch the mind this is how the mind is thoughts fall into the mind <coughs> I can have a say over the ways of the mind by simply watching the mind I don't have to chase after the thoughts or try to shun the thoughts i am the sakshi the witness of the mind mind is sakshya that which is witnessed i am the witness of memory and forgetting of thoughts and no thoughts in this mind that has been inquired into in this mind that has been calmed by watching it i place a mantra for this session we will just use om namah shivaya each time the mind goes away i gently bring it back back to the chant
start the chant mentally now. Allow the chant to drop for now. Again watching the mind in its state of quietude. the chant Om Namah Shivaya is followed by no chant and then followed again by chant what is the chant other than I consciousness chant consciousness is what is the silence between the two chants no chant consciousness is chant consciousness no chant consciousness I With this deeper understanding, I pick up the chant again. I love the chant to stop again. Chant consciousness. No chant consciousness. Then again, chant consciousness. I am the same with the chant. I am unchanging Atma without the chant
with the chant I am the same without the chant still the same I vast limitless the chant ensuing forth from the mind the heart is like Ishvara with the Jagat no chant I like Ishvara in repose chant consciousness I no chant consciousness I pick up the chant again mentally let the chant drop leaving in its wake the brilliant self-effulgent I consciousness the only thing that exists that lends its presence to the chant and is the witnessing witness of the silence being myself is not difficult being myself is effortless and if you are comfortable being yourself you can acknowledge that I'm comfortable being myself which means You do not need comfort to be comforted by the universe. Perhaps I can even be a source of comfort to those in need. Om Shanti 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 Thank you.